This video is about willpower, determination, resolution, commitment, and dedication. And yes, I know, these are all synonyms, but there's a reason for that. Because this was a pain in the damn butthole. Let me explain how it all began. One morning I woke up and I saw a Kotaku article and the headline read, a large group of Red Dead Online players tried to carry bowls of soup across the entire map. And the article also linked to a video showcasing what transpired on that fateful day. And to my greatest disappointment, I saw no soup nor stew that made it across the map. Later that night, I went to bed, but I couldn't get this article and video out of my head. Why? Why would one carry a stew from one side of the map to the other? Why even walk from one side of the map to the other? And most importantly, why has no one in the video made it to the other side of the map with the actual stew in hand? Yes, about halfway through, all the stew was gone. How? What happened to the stew? Sleep wouldn't come that night. All I could think of was the stew and how it never got to see Saint Denis. The next morning I decided this needed to be investigated. I would take it upon myself to bring this stew from New Austin to Saint Denis. But I wouldn't do it alone, cause madness is best enjoyed with friends. So I forced the dear narrator to join me. So, the plan. <laughs> Take this bowl of stew from this place here to the tavern of Saint Denis somewhere around here. Sounds pretty easy, right? Well, it isn't. The best way to explain it, each region had its own specific hurdles and, well, boss fights. Oh, and I forgot to mention one important thing. No map. Because we are no damn pussies. Attempt 1. As you notice, there is no stew in my hand. Why? Because I was fairly confident we would do it at the first try. I would just have Dave here to do the challenge and I write the video as we go along and voila, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It didn't go down like that. We established the ground rule for getting to Saint Denis right at the start. We are west, Saint Denis is east. The sun rises in the east, so we go towards the sun or keep the sun in our back to inevitably arrive at our destination. But the first obstacle presented itself in the most unexpected form. Oh, this single piece of cactus. Yes, touch a cactus and your bowl goes to the ground. And he dropped. Oh my God. Attempt two. Okay, go east, careful for the cactus. As a matter of fact, avoid all cactus. And what better way to do that to get our asses on the railway? Yes, a pretty easy and straightforward walk. At some point, we figured we would reach Armadillo. And from there on out, it's a straight march to Blackwater, Strawberry, Rhodes, and then St. Denis. And so far, so good. Until tragedy struck. The bowl of stew just vanished. Oh, what? It just despawned. He didn't drop the ball. It just de the ball. It just despawned. And this was going to prove a bigger problem than we could anticipate. Now I didn't believe it at first. I thought Dave was lying. He must have dropped the stew. But there was indeed an issue. Attempt three. I realized this wasn't a one-person job. To double our chances of getting stew to Saint Denis, I too had to get my hands dirty. And so, with stew in hand, we both walked eastbound to Saint Denis. We thought by being careful, we could shave a few seconds, minutes, hours even off by going straight to Armadillo. But little did we know about the dangers that lurk in the sand. Yes, cacti have indeed proven to be vile anti-stew traps. Besides that, we were also paying close attention to snakes and other vile stew terrorists. But again, the cacti struck. And this time, in the tiniest, tiniest of forms, a cactus the size of an ant made us spill our delicious stew on the desert soil. Damn it! Attempt number four was a game changer. We've been walking in third person and we learned that walking in first person would speed up our endeavors by exactly 80%. Yes, so no messing around, this was gonna be the one. We would just follow the train tracks and go straight to Armadillo and McFarlane's ranch, no messing around with any cactus in any way, shape or form. And then, at the exact spot where attempt number two ended, we lost the stew. 
It disappears. Yep. Told you it despawns. First I me, told you it despawns. then Dave. We started speculating. Why here? Why does it just vanish two times at this exact same spot? Is this the exact maximum stew range? Yes, there must be a massive, massive circle around the stew pot. And you are not able to bring the stew pot outside of said circle. And that must have been why the stew from the initial video never made it to Saint Denis. But was this really the case? Or are there other more dark and mysterious forces at play here? So we tested. We walked for another 30 minutes, went to the guy and I would walk right by him with stew in hand and Dave would just take a tiny, tiny detour. And oh my sweet Mary on a bike, the legends are true. Rockstar Games has indeed implemented a stew border patrol. But at least we now know. We know how to get our stew past this point and into the next land. And so began our travels. We went from New Austin, past the stew border patrol, up to Hennigan'stead, past McFarland's ranch, past Thieves Landing. And here we nearly got mauled by a boar. But we kept on going past Blackwater and now to pass the river. And there we found our next enormous hurdle. The moment you set foot in water that is too deep, you lose the stew. Your character would instantly down the stew without a moment's hesitation or any notice. The next enormous blow in our adventure. And another good hour of two wasted. But this would not stop us. Attempt number six. Past New Austin, McFarland's Ranch, Thieves Landing, now the river. Hmm, okay, so going down from the river would leave us at the lake. No way across. So the only thing we could do was go upstream and hope to find either a water that is super, super shallow or a bridge across. All right, so up we went, the travels becoming more and more dangerous. One slippery slide and the stew would be carried away into the tall trees rapids. And unfortunately, we went off the path too far and we both lost our stew on the slippery slopes of tall trees. Attempt number seven, past New Austin, blah, blah, blah. We ended up at Hennigan'stead. So instead of going past the river, we decided to head straight into tall trees and head as far north as we could in the hopes of finding a bridge. And we found many interesting things on our walk, like this possum playing dead, a black bear playing around, and the most interesting thing of them all, the way across this damn river. A dam right up ahead. Yes, with two stews in hand, we raced towards this fantastic structure. And before we crossed, we took a quick moment and a quick picture across this beautiful landmark. But happiness turned to a bittersweet, juicy L. Dave tried to pass this man with this bowl of stew and... My sweet God. Knocked it right out of his hand. There was only one stew remaining. But Dave was determined to take the stew terrorist all the way up to Saint Denis. Because we indeed needed something for the fire to heat up our stew. So onwards we went. We went past Strawberry towards the south where we initially wanted to cross the river. Yes, yeah, so the lands up north posed many dangers. And worst of all, it would be a massive detour. And we saw another game changing hurdle another river but this time way way wider than anything we've ever seen before but luckily we also saw a solution right away a bridge well it was a train track and after about six hours of trying to get the stew across we were not going to try and find another way around because god only knows how long we'd have to walk to find a safe way across this damn river so the train track it was and we started walking we were slightly worried of course about the train potentially coming across but then again what on god's green earth would be the chance of the train going over the bridge at the exact time we would pass it i mean the railroad is insanely long the train could be anywhere on the map at any given point 
Besides that, waiting right here would be equally dangerous, if not even more dangerous. There's a ton of players passing through this exact spot to go to Valentine or Rhodes or Blackwater, so no, we would walk, just get it over with. And I guess we should have waited. No, it's gotta come. We're not even a, we're not even a quarter of the way across the thing yet. It's gotta come, man. It's coming now. We're not even halfway across, and it's right there. Evans is behind you. Get to the side. You gotta stay still. You gotta stay still. Evans is right. You gotta stay still. Get close. Get close. Get close. I thought we I thought we were done for. Yes, little did we know this was the final big hurdle. After hours upon hours of walking, the stew made it past the final challenge. From here on out, it was a pretty straightforward march. We went past the hardlands, past the swamps, and in our heads we figured sneaking a dead body into Saint Denis would be hard. But guess what? None of the NPCs even bat an eye. Neither did the law. No one cared and i like to think that it's because they knew what we went through from the cactus in new austin to the vicious animals on the great plains the tall tree rivers the slippery slopes and not to forget the train yes rockstar games looked from above and saw the stew which made it from new austin all the way to saint denis and said let's cut these boys some slack go forth go forth to the tavern Pick the fruits of your labor. And so we did. With tears in our eyes, we arrived at the front door. It was time, finally time to... God f***! Damn it!